watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at the Rough Rider Spade series. This is another in that series and I've really been enjoying this. I think this has been a home run style series from Rough Rider. They've done a fantastic job with these so far. And you've got the Spades logo there that's also the shield on the handle. The RI spelling for Rough Rider this time. And there's a look at what the Tang stamp essentially looks like. More like that. And then you get their slogan, Always High Quality Handmade Pocket Knives. The bottom of the box says China, country of origin, and then you have your cancer warning. And we're going to be looking at model number RR2484, which is the doctor's knife. Magnetic style closed box. You get the uh, nice little plastic baggie that the knife comes in and the felt line cutout. The RI spelling at the top of the box. And there's that magnetic style close. All right, so let's take a look at the knife. We've got a three and three quarter inch closed length on this fella. We've got black Appaloosa handles, which is basically a white smooth bone with some black dye kind of splotched on there. And it does remind me quite a bit of a black Appaloosa horse or just an Appaloosa horse. So that does a fantastic job of mimicking the name of the, of the series. Beautiful little inlaid shield there. Nice design. Very clean styling on that. Classy. Oh, the nickel silver spade shield. You've got nickel silver bolster there at the front. I think that's a really good size bolster for the length of this knife. And it has that single thread. Nice smooth design. Nothing uh, nothing being put on the, on the bolster there. So that's a nice clean design, I think. And this one's a little more special than some of the doctor's knives. That are out there with that bare head. No uh, rear bolster on there, which I think looks nice. But uh, good transitions to the handle from the bolster. And you've got the black underliner there. And then you can see that runs the length of the knife, both top and bottom there and on the back. And if we look at the bottom here, you can see the stainless steel spring and the brass liners. Everything looks really well constructed. Nice tight construction. No gaps. So everything looks good right there. And yeah, just really well constructed. We've got smooth edges along the handle there. Nothing poking me or uncomfortable. And along the interior of the bolster, I'm not feeling any edginess there. The elbow of the blade is actually round over so that's not sharp at all feels very comfortable finger just slides right over the top of that no issues so that'll slide into your slip or pocket really easily nice slender profile there you can see the blade doesn't really poke up much you can just kind of see the nail neck there and the swedge and you got that nice match strike pull uh, long pull on this one and the black backside matches pretty well um, in terms of its splotchiness but a little more color on the front I'd say a little darker in spots but overall not bad and I think you're probably gonna have that where you're gonna have uh, the handles not be you know completely even on both sides because all the knives that I've had in this series have been very dissimilar in terms of their shade some have the brown some have the, don't have the brown some have more of the black and brown so Maybe not as consistent on the handles as some would like, but I think uh, it makes each knife a little unique. And not really have a problem with it. Again, good transitions on the back side. Pins are nice and smooth. Edges around the handle are very nice. And yeah, just got a really beautiful color design on that faded or the uh, white smooth bone. So really happy with this fit and finish on all these knives and this is no exception so let's take a look at the blade so we've got half stop as you can see right off I'd say it's about a five and a half pull on there but it has a very affirmative lock up to the half stop and to the full position so it gives you a bit more uh, break than you might expect for like a five and a half pull but you have that beautiful long gated spear point blade on this Beautiful mirror finish on it. There's a look at that grind on that side. A little bit wonky up here towards the Ricasso. You can see it thins out. Probably would have liked to have seen, you know, a sharpening choil on this. 
But at $12.85, you're not really expecting a whole ton of extra features on this, and it's already a bargain at that price. Right now on sale at Smoky Mountain White Knife Works, but Chicago Knife Works offers it for $12.86. So a penny more on Chicago Knife Works, not on sale. But for once, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works is actually cheaper by a penny. You see the nail strike, uh, long pull there. You can see the match strike pull, swedging on the blade. To look at the profile there. See how that thins at the tip. And the swedging there again. And if we compare the blade edges, let's say they're pretty even. Not a lot to complain about there. Maybe just a bit heavier grind at the front half of the knife, but only slight. And you got a nice tip, and that edge does feel nice and sharp. So if we look at the Tang stamp here, we've got 440A on there to designate the steel, and RR2484, the model number, and then of course the country of origin, China. On this side, you can kind of just make out the uh, new 30th tank stamp. It's not super deep in there. It's kind of shallow. So it can be a little tough to see. If I can get the lighting right, there we go. Something like that. It just says 30 at the top and then Rough Rider with a banner with the I spelling on there. But yeah, again, half stop. Good close, good action. Really good lockup. Comfortable in the hand. Get a four finger grip. It's a little slender, you know, so you just kind of you're mauling this thing as you you grab a hold of it. Uh, might be a little harder t for uh, people with arthritis to get their hands around this particular one in a tight fashion, but I'm seeming to manage here, and that feels really good in the hand. Very comfortable, of course, with no secondary blade to interfere with your grip. But this thing is a finger magnet with that mirror finish. But overall, just a, a really cool design. I, uh, I actually think that this slip here from Chicago Knife Works is probably the best fit for it that I have. This is model number SH1169. This slip costs like $2.33. So if you want a good slip for this uh, narrow knife, which a lot of the other slips are just too broad, this will be a nice fit for that because it's nice and slender. And it just shakes right out of there, no problem. So again, model number SH1169, the uh, sheath brand sheath, <laughs> sheath brand slip. That is my choice for uh, for carrying this one. But really cool, uh, really cool knife. Let's take a look at the blade measurements here. We've got a two and three quarter inch total length to the blade, which is going to make that very UK legal, and then. The cutting edge just over two and a half, just barely. But um, I'm not usually a fan of uh, the medicine knife or the doctor's knives that much, but this particular one I thought was quite interesting because of the bare head design. It gives you a little more bone material there on the end, and uh, I just think the proportions of this knife are really nice. I like the the length of the bolster to the handle, I think it's a good ratio there. It makes for really attractive design, nice and slender. You can definitely carry that in the pocket and again just throw that on a narrow slip that's going to disappear into your pocket pretty easily so really good design from Rough Rider really enjoying this series and this is another really well done knife so kudos to them and again at the price uh, $12.85 you just cannot go wrong I mean this is an insane value for me and for that reason I recommend it with two thumbs up but that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Take care.